what's wrong? You fell all over yourself to plan LFG's New Year event. I distinctly remember someone patting her chest and promising it'd be a real eye-opener. Besides, as your client, I have written my request quite clearly in the annotations. It isn't easy being a service provider to LFG. Seeing as you've fought for it, you need to be prepared for difficulties. Besides, don't you often call me a capitalist pig? We capitalists are like this. We make requests, but don't tell you how to complete them. No, do tell. Even if you do want to silence someone, my little dummy should still do as she promised. That is the most basic part of providing a service. Hang on. The pesky client does have some manner of humanity. So, what would you like for your New Year's gift? Anything at all. The hardest, yet also the softest thing in the world. Did you take inspiration from Colorful Black, or are you just trying to get back at me for the annotations?
A certain someone has already confidently handed me this proposal five times. Let us hope there is reason for your confidence this time. Well done. You finally understand your client's annotations. I've changed the hotel where we'll be hosting the event, but the rest is fine. Now that work's done, let's go home. True, what about it? As for that particular thing, I believe you should trust your service provider. Since we're talking about this topic, I do have a question. Would it be possible to narrow down the scope of the request somewhat? Everyone has worked hard throughout the year, and it is my wish that you are all rewarded for your hard work. No matter what the year has entailed, today we gather here to drink, eat, and enjoy these New Year gifts. I also hope that the one who planned today's event will enjoy their evening immensely. Let's go. It's high time you enjoy your long-awaited candlelit New Year dinner. Surely, if I wasn't looking forward to it, I wouldn't have made any preparations. The red wine beef stew at this hotel is made by a Michelin chef they've invited from France. I'm sure a certain someone has been dying to try it out. Seeing as we're here, why don't we focus on the food?
The New Year fireworks party is about to begin. I heard that you took part in the creation of the fireworks display. What's it like? Can't contain your curiosity any longer, huh? A certain someone gave me a whole pile of terrible proposals that didn't embarrass her. So why should I feel embarrassed? A certain someone simply loves to celebrate New Year's. And what's with the sad face? I remember what I promised you. But the time isn't yet ripe to reveal the gift. You'll see for yourself in due time. Wake up, dummy. I'm taking you to see your gift. Wake up already. Happy New Year. Time to see your gift. The hardest, yet also the softest thing in the world. Flowers frozen over. They boast a hard exterior, yet are soft as candy inside. This is how I chose to fulfill your request.
Disappointed that you didn't get to see me fail? Freezing flower petals isn't at all difficult. The difficult part was to fulfill a certain client's unclear request. Also, preventing her from sulking due to not receiving a gift. Chinese roses are resistant to the cold, so I merely had water sprinkled over them last night, and the temperature did the rest. But when the sun rises, so will the temperature, and the frost will melt. That's why I woke you up so early. As far as I'm concerned, the old may be important, but the new is equally so. I want to spend the first morning of the new year with you and revel in our first beautiful sight. I can't imagine a better start to the year. Is my dear client pleased with her new year's gift? Making a wish at every sight she sees. Now that's my dummy. Each day with you by my side is beautiful beyond compare. And that will be true in the past and every year in the future. What's that bulging, oddly shaped package at home? What bizarre thing did you buy this time while I was away on my business trip? So you only bought a pot? But then, what about the wrapped roses all piled up on the balcony? And that means giving me a balcony of roses? Isn't that a bit miserly when compared to the gardenful I gave you? I can't say I've heard of the generous gardener. I have, however, seen a generous dummy who just spent a veritable fortune on flowers. When I opened the door, I even thought you'd decided to jump ship and begin selling roses and flower pots. Right, and to give me such a huge surprise. When are you coming home? How can I just sit down and relax when I've got a dummy who always does the unexpected? The flowers you bought have thorns on them. 
To prevent a certain dummy from hurting her delicate hands, I see no other option but to trim them for you. That doesn't sound like a very enticing style. However, I bought a New Year's gift during my business trip too. When you return, I'll bestow upon you a necklace of eternity roses with the same beautiful meaning.